Hi everybody, I uh, just want to do a quick review of what happened in the stock market today uh, for September 27th. Um, so uh, you can see that we basically had a pretty far down day today. Um, and then in after hours here, we're also seeing uh, another plunge, uh, which doesn't look so good. Um, so uh, if you measure that loss, there's a couple different ways to measure it. Um, from Essentially from the peak there to where we are right now, um, is approximately a negative 2.3 percent which is quite uh you know a down day um but to the actual level it's more like 1.3 percent uh was a loss today so we've been seeing these weird uh starts of the day where the right at 9 30 we see positive volume and then negative volume right after that so uh that's essentially what happened today um and then around uh we did see another 1030 volume positive spike here um, and then some more negative volume and then a little bit of positive volume and then some more negative volume. So right in here, starting around uh, 1045, if you were on the short side, you were basically in good shape. Um, and there, you know, there's a couple spots you could have gotten in 1115 uh, as well. So um, that was all pretty much shortable. Um, until about in this range in here. So you can see um, the Klinger uh, volume oscillator basically starts to get positive right in here. Um, so you can see some of the volume starts to go positive. The uh, MACD doesn't really show that, um, but you can see that MACD does finally uh, cross over later on. So it was kind of a long period of just slow up um, grinding up uh, that happened today, which doesn't look too good. You can see right at the start of that, though, there was kind of a downward trend, so that maybe gave us a signal uh, that at the end of this might not be so pretty. So the force was primarily very negative today. Uh, you can see that there was just basically these two spikes, uh, maybe three spikes of positive force. Um, and other than that, this the just the length and the time period of this downward force quite serious. So when we compare the average to range over the past few days, uh, we can see that we're kind of at a higher volatility level. Um, maybe actually yesterday was more volatile than today. Um, just throughout the day, you could say maybe it was more volatile, but near the end of the day, things kind of flattened out a little bit. Um, and then there was some volatility at the end of the day here, which doesn't really show up too much, but uh, it does show up a little bit. So you can see most of the money started to flow into the market uh, actually before uh, 9.30 open. Uh, and then right at 9.30 open, money started to just drop out of the market uh, until about 12 noon. Um, and then you can see money started to flow back into the market um, and so on. And then it kind of leveled off. Uh, and then near the end of the day here right now, it's kind of starting to drop off again. So certainly, as in most days, the volume was higher at the start of the day. You can see a couple spikes uh, in the volume here throughout the day, but uh, kind of lower volume, actually, um, than you might anticipate uh, in the middle of the day. You see, compare that uh, to other days, uh, about the same, uh, but uh, certainly uh, uh, low volume during the middle of the day. Uh, so you can see on the on bonds volume, uh, you can see we pretty much had some symmetry throughout the most of the day, but then basically even at the end of the day, we were losing uh, losing here on the on bonds volume. Price volume trend, a little bit different calculation. Uh, price times volume, you can see maybe a little bit more of a higher swing up here um, uh, than on the on bonds volume. So basically the price did maybe react a little bit more um, than the uh, regular just volume did. Um, so here's the force index for the whole entire day. You can kind of see what happened. Um, basically, with the start of the day being such a negative force right in here, um, you can see that nothing basically even came close to that on the positive side except for maybe down in here. Um, so this was quite good since it was near the end of the day. Uh, it's 241. You had pretty positive uh, volume looking at things there. Um, then here's the actual volume oscillator for the day, and you can see um, pretty much all the positive volume was at the start of the day right here. Um, this was, there was another bump in here, and then maybe a kind of a bump in here that you can see some positive volume. Um, but uh, there was basically more significant negative volume. Um, this was pretty good positive chunk of the day actually was in this lower level, um, which is kind of surprising um, considering uh, what happened. Um, so today we did see kind of a little bit of slowing on the side of the MACD. So you can see that the gap between 
uh, the signal line and the MACD line is closing a little bit. So if you zoom in here, you can see basically these are almost level, which is slightly less on the green side here. So that's a good sign, meaning maybe there was a little bit of a tendency to head back up. Um, that's not for certain yet, but um, that's a good sign for the MACD. You can also see on the volume side, we're decreasing on volume on the negative volume. So it might mean that we're increasing on the positive side. So at least it's not as negative um, as it has been um, past couple days. So we do see <coughs> a, a decrease in volume today, um, but uh, we'll have to see what happens. Um, so we have seen pretty much a negative trend uh, ever since uh, 8.19 or so. Um, you can see a crossover there on Stochastic Oscillator. Uh, you can also see a crossover here um, on the MACD. Um, and then you see basically that the actual uh, uh, negative was defined somewhere in here. So people were pretty certain this is a downtrend. Um, by this time um, and you can see that the you know the volume is negative everything was kind of negative by that time so we're not really in a shape for looking at positive territory um, it did look like it came up a little bit uh, on the Aruna insula indicator here you can see that that maybe showed some sign of positivity but uh, maybe not so the really good news is that essentially that we are kind of a little bit we're still negative um, so that's that's the really bad news, but uh, the the good news is that it's kind of getting a little bit not the force the force behind the negativity is slowing down a little bit, um, which is great. Uh, so the basic problem is when you have a MACD that still has this type of uh, downward trend, it does take a significant positive trend. Um, to get the MACD to curve around here, so before a crossing, so we don't, have, we're not expecting any time of crossing anytime soon. Um, we can maybe get a crossing uh, by, you know, ten six or something like that. So according to ATR, um, it looks like we're just going through another normal cycle um, on uh, ATR. We'll just be up in this land, maybe a little bit less. So it looks like we're kind of not as not as engaged in, in a negative sense on an ATR, negative ATR, but it'll still be keep going up uh, in terms of volatility. So tomorrow could actually be more volatile, um, at least the next couple days. So essentially what that means is more of these 2.5% days uh, movements in the market should be pretty much expected. Uh, at least, um, you know, we're seeing you know, even at this level right now, we're seeing about 2% moves per day. Um, and then we're seeing that that could be, you know, to get back into here, this land, we're looking at, you know, have to be in November or even December. And by then things could even change even more and we could be even a higher level uh, of volatility. But we'll have to just see what, what has been happening. Uh, so the main question you might be asking is where are we going from here? Um, so basically I see more of these 2.5% moves uh, happening. Um, whether that's up or down, the volatility is going to be pretty high. Um, so it could be either one. Um, now specifically for tomorrow, um, it might be down a little bit. It looks like we're already seeing it down 0.68%. Uh, so unfortunately, um, the worst part uh, could still be happening. Um, we probably won't go too much lower than and down into this level on the MACD, for instance. Um, so that could bring us down. Maybe if you look at this level, you know, we could be down into the 35, uh, 65 level or something um, before the MACD starts to turn around. So that's still a possibility here. Um, are we going to turn around and become positive? Um, that's a whole other debate. Um, if we do become positive, it might be in more little steps. Uh, so essentially what we're seeing here is from here we can see uh, upward moves of around 1.6 percent um, and downward moves going around 2 percent or 2.5 percent. So the good news is that there's spikes in here um, that are positive. Um, now most of these spikes are negative in volume so you can see most of the volume up here is negative um, and these spikes correspond to negative, negative spikes in the volume. Um, so that's not a good sign, uh, but there are a few of these that look like they're starting to get gain a little bit positive, more positive uh, momentum here. So that is a good sign uh, in the near future.
And you can see that the force behind some of these downward moves has actually been decreasing. Uh, obviously, these were very big, significant drops in the market. Uh, so it would be hard to imagine they'd be increasing. Um, but uh, this recent drop was pretty much going in the wrong direction. So that's not so great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this study of what's been going on today and in the past few days in the stock market. Uh, let me know if you got any questions or ideas. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'd be glad to get back to you and talk with you about details uh, or even have a private conversation about what you think is going on in the market. Thanks a lot. See you.